Welcome back to Fox Walk Primitive. Uh, we're here at a booth, and I liked what I saw as soon as I as soon as I seen it. I'm a big Tomahawk fan. Uh, I like t t Tomahawks, but I don't like them to look and act like hatchets. I like them to act like a Tomahawk. And Richard Carmack here of RMJ Tactical is going to give us a spiel on some really nice looking stuff. Okay. Start off with, this is a collaboration we're doing with a researcher from Australia. His name is Peter Fagan. And he does a lot of research on uh, ergonomics. And we call these the Gossocks. We've got one prototype that's titanium. The others are 4140. And uh, we're going to be doing some of these. This is a new kukri that we are making. It is a brand new prototype. In the fall, we'll have a bunch of these. This particular axe, Tomahawk, is a co collaboration that we're doing with Andrew and Ben Bewitteman of the Wittemann Knives. It is called Ragnarok, and uh, we call it the Gucci of our particular knives. Now, this particular axe right here is brand new, and it was we, we did that at the request of a lot of DEA agents on the West Coast. They really liked our regular tomahawks, but they said we can't use those anywhere there's a chance that somebody will take a picture of us because they're just too aggressive. So we've made this, based it a lot on the uh, standard fireman's axe, and it looks more like a tool. But the thing is, we want it to be able to, to chop, go through, uh, steel, concrete, and the important thing is this particular spike lets us do the same things we do with our regular shrikes in Eagle Talons and Kessels, which is break chain and break locks. Because we don't want those guys ever being caught anywhere. And this will let them do it and not look like they're ready for the zombie apocalypse. That's what it is. Now this is a special shrike that we did up special for the show. This particular tomahawk without the uh, the special handle feature is our most popular. It goes through uh, Kevlar, steel. We've got some pictures of or some video of this particular tomahawk and its smaller brother going through a, uh, actually cutting the tail section off the Cobra helicopter. You can see that at RMJ Tactical uh, or Googling RMJ Tactical helicopter. You'll see that. This is a new limited edition trike. We call it a billet trike. We've done some different things, made the forward edge a little narrower so it's more wood friendly, and we've done a different treatment to the spike as well. Now, on both of these, this particular handle is over molded hydrometer rubber, and it will give you electrical insulation of at least 2,000 volts. And this particular one. Uh, is our Jenny Wren. This is uh, one of our lighter tomahawks. And uh, we did that special for 7th Group Special Forces, who at that point in time were posing as college students in Central and South America. And they needed to be able to uh, conceal this in a spiral bound notebook. Uh, the one thing uh, that I like and that I, that I want you to notice here is the grind on these tomahawks. The grind on these tomahawks are, are what, what make it what I consider it to be more of a true tomahawk in that it's very knife-like. It's got a very low profile, a very nice cutting geometry to it instead of something that's more like a hatchet or a small axe that is just almost like beating something to death with blunt force trauma. This is actually going to cut. If I wanted to, I could choke up on this and use it as a knife. And that's what I like out of tomahawks. And Everything that I see on the table here has that feature, and that's why I stopped at this booth. Uh, this kukri from RMJ Tactical is uh, one of the more unique kukris I've ever handled. Uh, the tang is exposed, uh, the grips are very grippy, and they're low profile. The handle guard is very effective, and it's quite ergonomic. Uh, it doesn't ever really have much of a pommel, more of just a lanyard hole. Uh, but what I, what's unique about it is this blade. Uh, it has an area that is removed. It has material removed here to make it just a little bit lighter because I want you to see how thick that, that stock is. That is really thick stock. That is, I think, uh, 5-16. I believe that's 5-16 stock. And it has this textured grind to it, which you really don't see anywhere else. Uh, 
I don't know how it performs, uh, but it looks cool. I can say that.